Hi, I'm making another EDD video, unemployment for you guys, an update of March 24th and on your new $300 boost extension is going to be up to the date of March 30th, right? I mean, September 30th. All right. So if you guys didn't know, it has been extended. That's good news for us. All you got to do is keep certifying. If you've already been approved, you just certify your benefits, verify your information, and you'll be able to receive your, um, your money on time, right? Hopefully, if you don't receive it on time, you will get a deposit into your account within a month. Don't worry about it. You're going to receive everything that's supposed to be promised in the next, in this stimulus package as your extension, right? That includes 11 weeks of $300 boost on the previous stimulus package and up to a total of, uh, I think it's probably 56 uh, weeks of paid benefits, including the $300 boost each week up to September 30th, okay? So again, we're going to continue with our articles. And before that, subscribe with the like button because in the description, I got you many more discounts so you guys can actually click and get free money, like $30, $40 for free so you can go shopping or anything else like free food or just check out my channel for any, any other discounts and reviews that might interest you, okay? So as we continue, the first article is gonna give us a lot of more information and a lot more explanation. It says EDD clarifies rollout of extended unemployment benefits, $300 boost, right? It says here, California's unemployment development, uh, development department is sharing new details about when people on PUA and PUC can expect to receive the American Rescue Plan benefits. That's this benefits that Joe Biden just passed, right? So as we go into the article, again, you can search it online. You can see the website address right there. Or you can search on, on the internet or just pause and read along, right? So it says right here, um, we have a clear picture of when California can expect to get the new federal unemployment extension. We're just pretty much waiting until they get deposited, right? We know it's, a, and it's an extension of each weekly benefit that you actually receive. Could be the minimum. Or you could actually verify your documents, your income, and receive a lot more, right? But you're also going to get a $300 boost per week, which is great news, up to September 30th. Now, for those who are in PUA, if you have questions, this is the video to, to actually watch, right? Remember to share it to anybody. Repost it on your Twitter, repost it on your um, Instagram, or your Snapchat, or send it as a text message, email. Whoever needs help, you can watch it. It's simple. You just watch it, press pause, and you can find out every information on any type of program of an employment benefit to actually know, right? And you can also check out my channel. I got many more videos about it. If you have trouble, you can search, comment. I'll be make videos. I'll take to explain to you more of the information that's going on as we as time goes on, right? As you get more information from the EDD department, right? So it says right here, PUA for those people that are on PUA. There's 90% of people of, uh, that are in pandemic and employment assistance, which is PUA, will be able to certify and receive payments along with the $300 boost. This group includes people who have a, a balance remaining on their claim. So that means if you have money remaining on your claim, you will be able to get uh, the payments on time and the $300 boost, right? Only if you have uh, money already in your claim. So if you're still getting money, that means it's going to get an automatic extension, extend, extended plus a $300 boost per week without interruptions, which is good, right? Now it says people who have exhausted the PUA benefits should watch out for text, UI online notifications, mail no or mail notices about EDD when they can't certify, okay? The department said it will send notices by April 10, 2021. So if you're in PUA and you've exhausted your benefits, meaning you have no more benefits that you're receiving money, and that's zero, you have to wait because they're gonna either text you, mail you, or give you notifications in your EDD online account about when you can actually certify, right? If you're not sure, you can always give them a call, but it says it's by April 10, which we got approximately maybe like two weeks, that you're supposed to uh, find any notifications, any mail or text messages that you can already certify. If April 10 comes, hopefully I give you guys a new update, and if you still haven't, you should definitely give them a call. So if you want to jump ahead, give them a call or send them a message, just like I told you guys to do in my in my other videos. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's under EDD, best way to contact the EDD department, right? So you can search it on my channel. All right, now it also says right here, it's currently 1.2 million people in California who get PUA benefits. Based on the EDD estimate, it's about 60,000 people that will see a gap in their payments. Once this group is able to certify, they'll receive payment for any missed weeks, including the extra $300 boost. Just like I told you guys, don't worry about it, don't stress. You might not see it right now, but you'll see it in the next week, right? If it's not next week, you'll see it in the next one, okay? You're gonna get all your money on time, well, maybe not on time, but you're getting all your money deposited into your account and no single cent is supposed to be missing, right? So again, remember I told you guys, keep your information up to date, check your account, make sure your cell phone number is right there, is up to date because they will be texting you just like me. I send them a message online, they reply to me, 
I saw it in my email, I saw it as a text message, and I even got a, I even got a phone call from them, all right? So remember, keep your messages up to date, and you will be able to get a phone call within them within a couple of uh, days or even a week, okay? So that's good, good tips for you guys. Now, P, new PUA a claims, it says right here, any new PUA claims that are filed before April 10 will be paid a minimum level of $167 per week, plus a $300 federal boost, right? Even though you're supposed to earn more, the new claimants only going to receive the minimum right now. But after April 10, once they fix the system of the EDD department, claimants will be eligible to receive a higher weekly benefit amount based on their income information. All right, any difference will be applied retroactively after that. All right, so the deadline is pretty much April 10. After April 10, if you don't see nothing, then you should really maybe give them a call. Maybe your 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 account, your claim is actually backlogged. So it's you have to call them so they can actually put um, more attention to your claim, right? So now we come here in a PUEC, right? This right here, a majority of people who get pandemic emergency and employment compensation, the PU, PEUC, will have a gap in their payments, all right? ED said 47%, 47 of people would, on PUC would be able to continue collecting benefits plus the extra $300 boost without any delays. For the other 53% of people who have exhausted the PUEC, Extension of, be of benefits, the EDD plans to phase them into the next extension between April 10 and April 30th. All right, so that means if you have PUC, you can't continue to certify your benefits plus $300 uh, per week without any delays, right? 40% of them, right? But other percentage, like the 53% of people who have exhausted, which don't have many money coming into their accounts, um, you have to see them between April, uh, April 10th through April 30th, okay? That's when you'll be able to certify again. That's when you'll be able to get it. Um, that's what the EDD says. They're going to start um, issuing extensions and issuing the um, certified for benefits into your account, okay? So remember that, again, if, uh, if you have benefits, so we need to deposit it. You're going to probably be seeing right now without any delay. But if not, if you have exhausted, then you will find a delay. And I do have to wait those two weeks to, through to a month to actually start receiving them, okay? Now, there are currently 1.4 million people in California get PUC benefits. Based on the EDD estimate, about 742,000 people will see a gap in their payments. Once this group is able to certify, they will receive payment for any missed weeks, including a $300 extra, okay? So that's good news right here, right? Remember, pause the video, watch it, read it, so you guys be informed, okay? Now, it says right here, regular unemployment insurance and Fed Ed insurance uh, claims, right? Clients who are in regular unemployment insurance or Fed Ed. People who receive regular state unemployment insurance or federal state extended duration will not see any changes. People in this group should receive the weekly benefits and the extra $300 without interruption. Okay, so that's great news for regular and Fed Ed, right? Um, you will see no delays, you will receive it right away automatically. But if you do see a delay or if nothing has deposited into your account, go ahead, send them a message. Um, answer, call them on the phone because they will be contacting you right away so you can fix your insurance claim because it might be a problem, right? It also says here, end of benefit year. The rollout, uh, the rollout of the new benefit, federal benefit extension is coming at a time when many people on regular unemployment insurance are hitting the end of their benefit year or 12 months since, the, since they first filed the claim. Everybody started filing for claim on March, so pretty much this is 12 years, uh, 12 months, a year after. And people have to add, um, they have to re reapply for benefits, okay? Because they're exhausted and it's going to end their claim. So in order to keep on receiving claims on people with regular employment insurance, possibly even the Fed Ed, they will have to reapply, right? So it says here, once people reach the end of the benefit year, they must reapply for another claim if they are still not employed. So if you see they can't certify, you see that you're not supposed to receive any benefits. And you see actually it says um, end of benefits or claim uh, expired or claim ended, then you're going to have to reapply because you're still not employed, right? Obviously. If EDD will check if they are qualified for a new regular state UI claim or connect them to federal benefits that they may qualify to receive. So if obviously you don't qualify for regular insurance anymore, you can qualify for PUA or PUC, right? So remember that. You can always uh, keep in mind that if it finishes, don't worry. Just um, continue to certify, all right? So the next next article it says right here, um, ADD fraud free is connected to Atari Tech, which is what it says, right? Besides the great news that we found out already about what, what the dates, deadlines that we start receiving money, if there's any delays or not, we also we know that um, there's a lot of ADD fraud again in our system. We've been knowing that ADD has been hiring a lot of new workers, 
but uh, obviously the call centers are completely full, completely jammed, and we can't even get get in touch with the ED department, right? Uh, as funny as it is, we keep trying, and then things go by, but I mean, still no no process for the ED department. So it says right here, it might be a ADD fraud freeze connected to a tar to connected to Atari Tech, which it says. So that man, they've been struggling with even uh, the company of Atari, you know, maybe the video game. So I mean, it's been it's been uh, it's been. Couple so I mean, there's a lot of problems going on again. Now more issues. We already saw this weekend has been completely frozen. People are not able to certify, but they're finally were be able able to certify uh, starting today. So I mean, that's great news. I just certified for my benefits, and you should too. Even though it says, you know what, it's under maintenance. It's not able to um, work. It's not. It's not able to um, be able to process your certification or load your page. Just go ahead and refresh it today, and you'll be able to certify on time, right? And you still get your money on this week. So that's pretty good. It talks about information, what's going on, the conversation with the people that they actually contacted, and it says someone um, is still waiting to answer what's going on because of this Atari Tech uh, issue. So hopefully they get their issues um, um, get you solved, and you guys could actually um, get your issues solved as well if you guys have any problems, right? Now on my Twitter page, I can see right here, I actually got this one. It says, well, you still can't access your UI online or SDI online account. Some clients are experiencing issues with certification. Over half million people certified for benefits. We are we are still working to fix this as quickly as possible and we'll keep you updated, all right? So if you can't be able to certify, you're not alone. It's a lot of people, but don't worry. You will get your benefits on later on, so don't worry about it. Just try it when you can. If not, then I'll message with you on my car, okay? And yes, we do have a, a eight thousand dollars, eight thousand people of California that uh, that are receiving payment delays, and I receive their money because of fraud, because of spending, because of delays, because of the ED department is just uh, system is down. But like I said, there's working on it, and you will eventually get your money right. So as far as far as this uh, video goes, uh, thanks a lot for those who are subscribing. Hit the like button, leave a comment below. Don't forget to check the description below because again, I bring you a lot of free free money, free food, and free discounts. Okay, good discounts. Check them out below. Just on supermarkets, on food, on everything else, and free money on even on Walmart. Okay, all right, thanks.